Hey folks, Elliot here. So a little backstory, a buddy of mine recently bought a secondhand iPhone and ran into that dreaded lock to owner message. You know, the iCloud activation lock? Yeah, that one. It got us digging deep. And after some trial and error, guess what? We found multiple ways to tackle it. And the best part, they're all totally legit. In today's video, we'll be breaking down these tricks for iPhones, iPads, and even Apple Watches. Let's dive right in. Keep in mind, this info is for rightful owners who've forgotten their access details. We don't support bypassing security on stolen devices. Stay legal, respect others, and know our video follows YouTube's rules. All right, diving straight in. Have you ever had that moment where a friend or someone you know gets stuck with the locked to owner message on their iPhone? Happened to a pal of mine recently. Now, purely from an educational standpoint, there are some top-notch solutions that can help. For starters, the iUnlock app is super user-friendly and I've heard some good chatter about it in tech circles. Then there's Safe Unlocks, super straightforward and efficient. A cousin of mine swears by the lock to owner tool after it saved his day last month. And not to forget, there's also the Unlock Here's AI powered unlocking web app. Pretty futuristic stuff if you ask me. Now, remember, I'm just sharing what's out there. These are some of the best options available for the iCloud Unlock service. And speaking of Unlock Here, in our next segment, we'll give you a closer look at how their AI unlocking assistant works. Stay tuned. Just a heads up, the unlock services we're discussing are primarily operational in first world countries. So if for some reason you can't access them or you'd rather not use them, we've got a treat for you. Every week we offer 250 unlocks to our loyal viewers. Want in? Here's what you need to do. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, drop a comment with your device model, like iPhone 8, your IMEI, and your country. And that's it. As soon as you do these three things, you're in the running. Best of luck. All right, let's dive right into the step-by-step -step guide using Unlock here. First things first, open up your browser. This could be on your phone, tablet, or computer. Now, head over to unlockhere.com. This isn't just any website. It's powered by a cool AI assistant that's here to help with mobile phone restrictions. Once you're on the site, you'll meet Nifty, the AI bot. Just tell Nifty you need an iCloud unlock. You do this by clicking on activation lock. Now you'll have a few options. If you're rocking an iPhone, go ahead and select that. But hey, if you've got an iPad or Apple Watch, they've got you covered too. Now here's where things get a tad technical. You'll need to enter your IMEI or serial number. Wondering which one to choose? Well, all iPhones have IMEIs. So iPhone users go for IMEI. But for some iPads and Apple Watches, especially those with cellular capabilities, you'll use the IMEI. Otherwise you'll be entering the serial number. If you're scratching your head thinking, where do I find that? Well, no worries. Just press the sleep button on your lock device, hit it again, and tap on the little eye icon at the bottom right. Boom, there's your device info. After you've got that sorted, you'll need to fill in your device information here. When that's done, you'll need to add some basic information. This is so they can attach the order to your account. And trust me, you'll want to use your real info here, especially your email. That's where your order confirmation is going. Once you've entered everything, there's a little box where you'll need to agree to the terms. Just a friendly reminder, unlocking stolen devices, not cool. Once you've ticked that off, you need to click, I'm not a robot and solve this quick CAPTCHA. After that, hit start process. Okay, here's an important bit. You'll get an email with a confirmation code. If you don't see it right away, give your spam or junk folder a quick look. Sometimes emails get a bit lost. Found it, great. Copy that confirmation code and head back to the Unlock Here website where you need to input that code. And oh, there's a quick, I'm not a robot check too. As soon as you've done that, tap the button to validate info and then the unlocking magic begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila, in this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here, just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. Got another method for you folks, and this one involves Apple themselves. 
First up, if you've got the original invoice for your device, you can get the lock removed by directly reaching out to Apple support. Here's how. Dig out that original invoice. This is super important because it proves you're the legit owner. Head over to the Apple support website or give them a call. Explain the situation and show them your invoice. They'll guide you through the process. But let's say you don't have the invoice or want to try something else. There's another way, resetting your Apple ID on Apple's website. Here's how that works. Go to Apple's official site and look for the forgot Apple ID or password link. Enter your Apple ID. Follow the on-screen instructions. They'll guide you on how to reset your Apple ID or password. Now, once you've sorted that out, you'll get to enjoy your unlocked device. Another method we can dive into is using iCloud Unlock software. But heads up, this one needs a Windows computer, so it might not be for everyone. Here's the scoop. There's software out there designed specifically to unlock your device. However, not all of them are reliable. And here's a golden tip. Always be cautious when downloading stuff. You don't want to accidentally get malware on your computer. So even though iCloud Unlock software can be pretty handy, for peace of mind, it might be better to use online services. Websites like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks are solid choices. Plus, they have the added bonus of not needing any downloads. And speaking of online solutions, let's dive into some more details. If you bought the device secondhand and the seller is willing to help and who's responsive, that's perfect. Here's a simple way they can help you get rid of that annoying iCloud lock. Ask the seller to head to iCloud.com and sign in with their iCloud details. Next, they'll want to click on Find iPhone. In there, they should spot the device that's giving you the whole lock to owner headache. Once they've got the right device selected, there's a button labeled Erase. Tell them to hit that. It's going to reset the device. And here's the last step that seals the deal. They should click on Remove from Account. Doing this makes sure the device isn't tied to their iCloud anymore and it should help get your iPhone back to its full glory. And there you have it. Doing this can seriously help in getting your iPhone running without any hitches. That's it for today's tutorial. We hope you got what you need. Like and subscribe for more videos like this.